It's 2020, anything goes. But the show will go on. The 54th Annual CMA Awards uniting the genre's top musicians with their true love, the stage. No, I'm not going to be nervous. I'm going to be really thankful I'm going to be on that stage. Let me make one thing clear. You From the superstars to the newcomers, most haven't performed for a live audience since March. All of us entertainers um, hate this year. We hate this year. We can't do what we do. <laughs> we, we're ready to move on, and it has crushed. A lot of people that just can't survive it, can't get by. The year has been far from typical with virtually the entire touring and live music industry dark. But the artists didn't stay silent, writing, recording and releasing music and connecting with fans in innovative ways. I think this year is obviously crazy for all of us. I think that we are all more humbled and more honored for music and the power of music. It's the music that unites us in a celebration like this that will give the artist a taste of normality while touching viewers across the country. I love that we get to celebrate. There's been so much amazing music that's come out in the last year and, and it deserves to be celebrated in whatever way that we can. And I think God bless technology and different ways that we can all bring it to people. And, and I'm excited again, just to be a part of it in whatever form or fashion it is. But it will, it'll look a lot different like a lot of things have this year. Um, but you know, it, it means a lot. I mean, to be honored really just validates that we're all working hard during this unprecedented time and doing the best we can uh, with this wild world in front of us. So we're, we're very honored for that night. Reporting from Music City, I'm Stephanie Langston.